today and uh, today I'm making what me and Calvin calls the Brenner. We're going to have this casserole for our, our evening meal and it's called Easy Cheesy Breakfast Casserole and the ingredients is uh, Crescent Roe Dough, Tennessee Pride uh, Mild Sausage. In my bowl I have eight eggs. I have two cups of uh, cheese in my uh, measuring cup. I have some salt and black pepper in my small bowl here and I'm going to put just um, about a teaspoon of mustard in it. And let me get started on this uh, easy uh, breakfast meal and me and Kevin loves to have breakfast sometimes for uh, dinner. So let me get started. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is scramble up my sausage. And uh, this little casserole is a very easy little casserole, and it's a very tasty little casserole, and quick little casserole, and yummy little casserole. <laughs> okay. Me and Kevin has been enjoying um, our little uh, countertop bun that our, one of our subscribers um, sent us. We really enjoyed it. And while my uh, sausage is over here uh, cooking, I'm going to put my bread in here. spray my uh, pan before I started. Go ahead and do this over. There's not hardly any grease in this sausage, so I don't think I'm going to even have to drain it. I'm going to cut me up some cantaloupe too to go with this tonight. Alright, I've got my uh, 
sausage cooked now, so I'm going to go drain it, and then I'll be right back. Things are smelling good in here. Okay, I've got my sausage cooked now, so I'm going to be putting it on my uh, crescent rolls. Spread it out like this. I can't stress enough how good this smells. Okay. All right, now I want to set this to the side. I'm going to put in my salt and black pepper, and this salt recipe will be in the description below. Put in a squirt of mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm going to put in a squirt of mustard. Okay. I'm going to stir all this up. You can also make this the night before and I'll cook it the next morning. This would be a good little casserole for a Christmas brunch. Okay. So now I'm going to put this over the top of it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is put this two cups of cheese on. If you're going to have company, this would be a great little recipe for the next morning. Okay, so I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, my easy cheesy sausage breakfast casserole just came out of the oven. So I'm going to let it cook for about uh, 10 minutes before I serve this up a piece. And about the last uh, 10 minutes, I did cover it up with aluminum foil. And I did cook mine at 325 since I had a glass dish. And um, I usually cook, when I use a glass dish, 25 degrees lower. And so... Uh, when this cools off, I'll be back and we'll be ready to eat. Okay, my casserole has cooled off now, so I'm getting ready to do the taste test. It 
it is really smelling good. Kevin, are you going to do the taste test today or do you want me to do it? Uh, you can go ahead and do it. Okay. You're doing fine. All right. We'll come back and do the writing on it. I'll let you come back and do the writing on it. Okay. I know it's going to taste good. I've had it before. Yeah, I've made one similar to this one before. On video. And then I've made this one before too. I've made one similar to this one too. Mm. Okay, that was really delicious. And I know Calvin's going to really like it. And so uh, we're going to uh, go and eat and then we'll come back and tell you how we rate it. Okay, everyone, we're back and we finished our um, lovely uh, Brenner. <laughs> Calvin, what are you looking at me like that for? What'd you call it? Brenner. <laughs> it's breakfast for dinner. Oh, okay. Brenner. Brenner, okay. <laughs> well, it was good. <laughs> Whatever we're going to call it, it was good. I enjoyed it. Yes, it was really delicious. So, what did you give it? You done got me laughing now. Uh, I'm going to give that a five stars, and I'll give five stars for the uh, cantaloupe and the grapes. And for the uh, sausage casserole, very delicious. <laughs> I only recommend one thing. Why? If you're going to make it, be sure you use a sausage that you enjoy. Uh, we like that Tennessee Pride sausage, and, uh, and it was really delicious. I enjoyed it. <laughs> well, thank you, Calvin. <laughs> so what are you going to rate it, Marie? I, I don't, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if you was rating the sausage or my casserole. Oh, no. The casserole, <laughs> but you got to put good sausage in to That's make it true. good. That's yeah. true. And uh, I mean, you can tell me and Marie have been having <laughs> a lot of fun today. <laughs> oh my goodness! But we'll get this video finished. <laughs> um, I give it a five two. I've I've had this casserole before, and I like it, and so it it gets a five. Five stars from you too. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Well, we wouldn't have made it if we didn't think it was five stars, would we? No. Because <laughs> <laughs> we knew it was going to be good. And what I'm going to do, I'm sorry, my voice is, I'm losing my voice again. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it up in uh, little squares and put it in our freezer and we'll, we can have it a couple more mornings. That'll be great. I did have a piece about twice the size of Marie's. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, but I'm a bigger man. I can enjoy it more than she can. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed the fruit. I, I love the fruit. I know you do. But not better than the casserole. <laughs> the it casserole was, was the best. It was all good. If you try it, you'll love it. Yeah. So I guess uh, we're going to end this video. And so y'all do what you love and love what you do. And we'll see y'all in our next video. Bye. Fairies when they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my